Jaja how? Today is another day. My name is Nana Kwame Jenfi, and we come to another episode of Chinese for Business People only on Netu TV. Today we are going to talk about negotiating with Chinese people and some things that we should know. Chinese people have a reputation of being very good negotiators. For a long time, Chinese people play games of strategy like mahjong, chess, go. And these games are games that deal with strategic moves. At a young age, up until adulthood, Chinese practice negotiating which make them very good businessmen and make them have very good negotiating skills. There are a few things that we should know when negotiating with the Chinese and today I'm going to give you seven key things that we should know. Stay tuned. The first thing we should know is Guanxi. Guanxi means relationship, a connection. When negotiating with Chinese, you need to develop a relationship with them first. You develop friendship before business. For instance, when you have a meeting with a number of Chinese investors and all of them say yes to you and they sound very positive, you go back being very excited because you've gotten some investors. But the truth of the matter is that not all of them may be ready to invest, maybe just one of them. And that is because they don't want to say no to you. When they say no to you, it means the relationship is over. They would like to keep the relationship going and listen to what, what you have for them. Maybe if you have any anything more for them, they would want to know that and make sure the relationship is strong and they have established trust before they can even allow themselves to say yes to you. So that's Guanxi, a relationship. They want to establish the friendship before business. The second thing we should know is not to get lost in translation. It is important to have a qualified interpreter. If you can't speak Chinese or the Chinese business associate doesn't know how to speak English. So if you have your own interpreter, it's, it's very good. And it's important to have your own than to use their interpreter so that you have control of what is going on. The third thing to know is the Chinese word for negotiate is tan pan. Tan pan literally means talk judge. Talk judge. This lets us know that when negotiating with Chinese, you are constantly being judged. And at every step of the way, you are being judged because they would like to establish trust. And with everything you do, they want to judge you to see if you are trustworthy. Constantly being judged. Now, for instance, in a business meeting in Ghana, let's say in a conference room, hmm? You are, in a, you are in a meeting with some business associates, you know, we comport ourselves as businessmen and women during the meeting. And let's just say after the meeting, you go out with your business associates for lunch or for dinner. Everything becomes informal. But with Chinese, after the meeting is over, and you go for lunch, you go for dinner, you go for a cup of tea, you are still being judged. So make sure to not lose track of the point of the negotiation. Just so you are not judged wrongly by your business associate. The fourth thing to note is that in a moment of silence, do not interrupt them. They take offense when you do. Do not interrupt. They are just thinking through the business proposal or the business idea or whatever it may be. We've come to the end of this lesson. I am Nana Kwame Jenfi. This is Chinese for Business People. Keep watching the 2TV.